Hello everyone, and welcome to patch.30. This patch brings in a massive amount of changes and updates that you all have been looking forward to. But before we jump into it, due to a rework of skill trees and player progression, this patch will see all player data wiped. Your player pocket watch, inventory, and personal metaverse stash will all be wiped as part of this release. Your personal metaverse space and decoration layout will not be wiped. Additionally, unlocked hourglass slots, big time balance, time crystal balance, cosmetic shard balance, etc. will not be affected. Now, let's get started. The first few levels of the game have been reworked. You will now enter the game through a more interesting and polished experience that guides you through important features of the game and introduces you to the lore and world of big time. Once completing the new introduction to the game, you will now be able to enter Epoch City. This new social zone includes all the amenities you're used to in Time's End and more. Be on the lookout for extra activities and be sure to explore this new ever-growing city and home for the community. Next, players can now queue up to be automatically placed into parties across regions, allowing quick and easy groups to be formed without the need to manually coordinate over game chat or discord. Also, once a day, players playing in a party via Party Finder will receive a drop bonus. We hope this encourages many players to use this new tool and make it as easy as possible to find a group when delving into dungeons. There have been many improvements to the UI in the game. Here are a few. You can now see crafting and community events in your personal metaverse. Various portals now display unique loading screens associated with that portal destination, and skill trees have had a major revamp. Beside the many visual improvements, you can now pan the skill tree around and reset it easily to the center. All skill specs and stats are in two collapsible side panels. You can also drag and drop unlock skills into your hotbar, or hover over the skill and press the number you would like to assign that skill to. We also simplified the currency display to be more user-friendly, and that's just the beginning. A new enemy approaches. The Void has invaded the land and includes several different new enemy types. Players will have to stay on their toes to help protect time from this new threat. In the wake of this new enemy, we have many new abilities and passives to aid you on your journey. As always, you will need to find the right pocket watch for the job if you want to unlock them all. Next, a new type of dungeon has been added to the game. Several optional objectives will appear throughout the mission. It will be up to you to find and complete these objectives to unlock your final confrontation with the boss at the end. Players will be graded and rewarded depending on how many of these objectives they find and complete. As always, this is just a small taste of all the changes coming in Patch.30. For a full list of changes, please check out the patch notes linked in the description. Before we go, we'd like to give a special shout out to all of our player council members who have been supporting the game team during the testing of this patch. Their dedication and feedback make the game better, and we owe them our gratitude. We can't wait for you to get in and explore Epoch City and beyond in Patch.30. We'll see you out there, adventurers!